Good morning, everybody. It's Charlotte Patrick, and I'm actually preparing to go teach a yoga class this morning. But beforehand, I just wanted to share with you one of my simple go-to recipes that you can actually make once and then eat off of it either throughout the day or maybe even the next morning. And so it is, um, this morning what we're gonna make is a breakfast burrito made with a base of scrambled tofu and adding in some fresh veggies. Um, so you again can make this in one portion if you want or like for me, I'm probably gonna make two or three at one time. So let's go ahead and show you how easy it is to make this go-to breakfast meal. Okay, so awesome. The very first thing that we're gonna do is use a little bit of grapeseed oil and we're gonna heat up the pan. Grapeseed oil is better than olive oil. Most people choose olive oil because they think it's a better oil. It's an awesome oil, but it's a cold oil. You need to make sure that you're just making salads with it. Grapeseed oil and coconut oil are the best smoke points, meaning that when you cook them in the pan, um, they're not going to turn rancid until you heat them to astronomically high um, heats. And so the, the molecules don't break down and cause free radicals. So again, olive oil is definitely a cold oil. Coconut oil and grapeseed oil are the best to cook with. So we've got that in a pan and in our cast iron pan. And then what I'm going to do is add in some shallots. And if you've not used a shallot, it's kind of like a cross between a garlic and an onion. It's really tasty. It's going to add a lot of flavor. So we're just going to dump that in. And then I've also got some fresh from the farm pepper. So just like a, a bell pepper. This is a red pepper. So we're going to add that in. And you just want to saute that for just a few minutes until it's gotten a little bit um, cooked down. So they're not as, as crispy as raw. But we don't want to cook all the flavor and nutrients out. Okay, so already we have in the pan cooking, we have our onions and our peppers, which is awesome. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna add the tofu. Now sprouted tofu is what I definitely suggest when you have anything sprouted, it's going to absorb the nutrients best into your body um, and it provides the highest amount of nutrients. And so, sprouted tofu is sometimes hard to find, but Trader Joe's, my awesome favorite store, Trader Joe's, definitely has it. And they've got these neat little packets where it's split in half. So now that we've got these peppers and onions cooked down just a little bit, we're going to add the tofu. The easiest way is to just put it in the pan solid like this and then run your fork through it and it breaks up just to look very similar to eggs okay so now that we have the tofu in the pan I'm now going to open a bag of organic pre-washed spinach so this is great for ladies because it's got iron in it and spinach is such a great green leaf for us so I'm literally just going to add this into the pan just for a minute. I'm going to turn the heat down a little bit lower and then I'm going to cover it. So the reason we cover the um, pan is so that it basically wilts the spinach pretty quickly. So once that's wilted, you're almost done. Now we're just going to add in a little bit of turmeric and turmeric is an awesome spice. It's been known to help with Alzheimer's, so remember your turmeric. <laughs> Alright, so we're just going to add a little bit in there. It does add a little bit of awesome woodsy flavor to it, but then also um, it colors the tofu to look more like eggs. So this is a sneaky way of tricking your children into thinking that they're eating scrambled eggs. Um, so, And it just turned beautiful yellow. Once your spinach is wilted, really you can turn the um, stove off because you're not needing any more heat. I also like to throw in at the very end some raw tomatoes. I don't want those to cook down and they will get warmed just from the tofu being warm, but I don't like to cook them so that we have at least one thing that's completely raw in this. And I've got our sprouted green Ezekiel tortillas which almost every single store will have these days. So it's just a, again, sprouted grain. 
it's a living grain basically so um, it does kind of break easily but it tastes amazing it is rich I mean you could just tell it's so good for you um, so we're just gonna throw this on the plate and we're gonna put a little bit of our tofu mixture now listen you could add anything to this you could add even sweet potatoes carrots you could add um, black beans for a little bit more protein it doesn't matter get creative there's no rules to tofu especially in a breakfast burrito okay so there you have it folks we made our breakfast burrito this morning with scrambled tofu a little bit of turmeric some onions peppers and some spinach and fresh tomatoes mm. it's so satisfying i mean you really won't even know that there's not eggs in here so it's earth friendly it's super healthy for you and it tastes delicious there's so many layers of flavor in here and it literally took me like under 10 minutes to do it all. If I hadn't been filming by myself, it would have taken less. <laughs> it's so good. Get out there, explore some new fun foods that are healthy for you. And I tell you what, you'll thank yourself. Your body will thank you. Throughout the day, you're going to have tons of energy. You'll be more creative and you're not going to feel lethargic after you eat something like this because it's light enough not to feel like a brick in your stomach, but it's gonna be energy filled. All of these foods were organic. Most of them were locally grown. Um, I don't know where the shallot came from, but I mean, you're really supporting some great things in your life. So the energy that you're eating um, in the morning is so important. So it's all veggie based. This is a healthy lifestyle and spirit, another simple recipe for you to explore. So comment down below if you've tried this recipe or any one of the recipes. I'd love to hear your thoughts. Thanks again for stopping by at Healthy Lifestyle and Spirit. We're wishing you the best 2012 this year. So to your health and wellness, this is Charlotte Patrick. See ya.